What is up, guys? Daniel here from Clever Programmer, and today I'm gonna give you my advice and my tips on what you can start to do, especially if you are a new developer. So before we get into it, guys, make sure you hit that like button so that we can put this out there into the world and so that more aspiring developers can see these tips and use these tips for their own good. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so every time we drop these fire videos, you get notified right away. Now, if you are serious about making money as a developer, we do have a link below where you can go ahead and click. It's a free training where Nas will teach how he was able to make $300,000 in three years as a software developer and how you can too. Now, let's jump into it. Number one, don't do it for the money. Now, here is something that's super controversial because very often you hear people saying like, hey, you should become an engineer or a software developer because they get paid really well. But let me tell you something, people that come into this industry because they're trying to do it for the money, they're trying to do it for the recognition, the prestige, end up burning out and don't successfully become software engineers because in reality, it's not something that's super easy and simple. It's hard, it's complicated, it's challenging. So for you to push through those things, you you have to make sure you actually enjoy it and you're very passionate about it. So if you are doing it for the money, let me tell you, you're watching the wrong video. Go ahead, go somewhere else, go follow your passion, go follow your dreams, figure out what you actually like, what you actually want to go do and go ahead and exit this video. But for those who are still here because you realize you're doing programming because it's something you're passionate about, you find fulfillment from being a developer. Let's go ahead and get into number two. Before I tell you what it is, let me tell you, this mindset helped to make programming and developing software seem super simple and super easy. And this quote took me a long way in my software career. This quote is very simple. It's not hard, it's new. Now this is so powerful because when I started to get into programming, everything seemed really difficult. Even though I was a logical thinker, I was a good problem solver, just writing my first piece of code, assigning my first variable, or even calling my first function didn't make sense. But because instead of approaching it in the manner where, man, this is too hard for me, I'm not gonna be able to get it, I approached it in the manner of, this is new, it's a skill that I had to build, and once I build it, it's gonna become simpler, it's gonna become easier, I was able to progress rapidly through those plateaus. I was able to keep on pushing my career forward. I was able to keep on learning more and more and more. So by adopting this mindset, I switched the frame. Instead of viewing programming like this impossible challenge that was just hard that I couldn't overcome, I viewed programming as a skill that I just had to develop and I just had to spend more time with. I had to get more intimate with it. And as I got more intimate with it, it just became simpler, it just became easier to where it almost became like second nature to me. Now, a lot of people look over this, but the reality is that becoming a great programmer and becoming great at literally anything else is 80% mental and 20% actual skill. So if you show up with the right mentality, you're going to be able to dominate the skill set. So number three, never stop learning. You know, one of my favorite mentors, Warren Buffett says, the more you learn, the more you earn. And this directly applies to software development as well. You want to make sure that you're always pushing yourself pushing what you know, trying to learn more. If you already know a specific stack or framework or language, maybe learn another one that has similar applications or different applications, but this will allow you to keep challenging yourself, keep growing as a person, keep growing as a developer, and most importantly, adopting this mindset will make sure that your career will be sustainable over a long period of time. There's been lots of developers that ended up focusing on just one specific language, like maybe Fortran, and where are they now? Unfortunately, not many people are using it. What they had to do was adapt over time. And that's what everyone has to do as a software developer. As you adapt, you take on new skill sets. And it's crazy because these skill sets start to compound over time and you just get better and better and better. So guys, as a new developer, one of the biggest challenges that you're gonna come across is learning how to manage data. 
Now this is gonna be important for becoming a developer because everything in the software world is driven through data. That's all the software really is, is you're showing data in different ways. One of the best ways to learn more about data is by practicing, immersing yourself in it, and even finding the right mentors to teach you about it. And that's why I wanna to talk today about Data Camp. Data Camp is an online platform that has over 300 classes that will teach you everything you need to learn about data, whether it's SQL, Python, and much more languages and tools that you're gonna need. Now in Data Camp, you're gonna have the right tools to become an absolute expert because they're gonna guide you through their courses and their teachings. And here's the great thing. It's also mobile friendly. So it doesn't matter if you're trying to learn while you're walking your dog, using the restroom, whatever it is, you could do it from the web or from your phone. And it gets even better because very often we might be running around because of life. This is something that you could do on your own schedule. So it doesn't matter if you work in the mornings, in the evenings, if you don't work at all, if you're in school, whatever your situation may be, you can find the time to learn through these courses, learn all the things you need to learn about data so you could become an absolute professional. So go ahead and check out this class in Python where you could learn more about how to use it to create databases or even then this class in SQL so you can learn more how to query databases and get the data that you want. When you go through these classes, you're going to develop so much experience in the back end because it's all about practicality. So if you want to become professional and super good with data and the back end, go ahead, click the link below and check out Data Camp where it's only going to cost you $25 a month. And the amazing thing is these are skills you can develop that will pay back in dividends because if you're able to become a professional, you're able to land a job, you're going to learn data so well that you'll be able to make so much money that 25 a month will be piece of cake. And if you don't get to that point, that's only a couple Starbucks coffees you don't have to drink so that you could pay for your knowledge and invest into yourself. Now, if you're still on the fence, here's the best part. You can go over there by clicking the link below and check out every single course's first chapter for free. So one thing I see a lot from people, pee pee. Yes, pee pee, practice with patience. Here's a crazy limiting belief for a lot of new developers. They come in thinking that they're gonna become these experts in just a matter of 30 days in a specific language or a specific framework. Now for you to become a true master of your craft, it's gonna take time, it's gonna take practice, it's gonna take repetition, and it's also gonna take patience because this is a long journey of development. In fact, I clearly remember talking with a lot of senior software engineers back when I was working at Blue Origin, and they themselves never felt like they had it all figured out because they were always pushing their own boundaries and learning just a little bit more. And I saw that, I was like, man, if they are 30 years ahead of me, I have to be really patient to put in that time and put in that practice to even get to their skill set. But I saw that even they're being patient because they're learning new technologies and they're increasing their skill sets. So when I put that into perspective, I kept practicing my craft, I kept building my applications, I kept coding as often as possible, but I kept patience in mind. I wasn't thinking about the next 30 days, the next 60 days or the next 90 days. I was thinking about the next three years, the next five years and beyond. When I started thinking long-term, this became a simpler game for me. I wasn't rushing myself. I wasn't feeling anxious anymore about getting it done. I just fell in love with the process. I fell in love with learning more about programming. I fell in love with challenging myself and pushing past my comfort zone. So don't forget to PP. Number five, get a mentor. Now guys, one of the most valuable, precious resources that both I and you and everyone else have is one specific thing, time. If I could get all my time back, that would be the most amazing thing ever. This is the most precious resource on this planet because it's something that we're never going to be able to get back until someone creates a time machine. But until then, we're never gonna be able to get our time back. So we wanna make sure we're using our time properly. And that's the exact reason why I'm creating this video for you, especially for a new developer, because I want you to take what I'm saying here and this is three years of me being in the field, three years of me learning. And these are the things that I wish I knew three years ago and even further back so that I could be even further ahead than where I'm at right now. So with all that I'm saying is if you get a mentor, you're going to save yourself time 
because when you have your mentor, you're going to learn what sucks and what's good. You're going to learn what's a waste of time and what's not a waste of time. You're going to learn the things that you have to do to hit your specific goals. And the mentor speeds up that process. We've all heard that it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert. And your mentor has probably put in those 10,000 hours plus more, maybe up to 50 and 100,000 hours of work on the craft. Imagine if you had access to that. Imagine if all you had to do was ask questions and they could give you the answers and they could guide you down the right path step by step. And that's exactly what we offer with the Clever Programmer Full Stack Mastery Bootcamp. We take you from a complete beginner knowing nothing about code to becoming a full stack JavaScript developer and beyond because we will help you with finding your first job as a full stack JavaScript developer. When you have the right accountability, when you have the right coaches on your side, when you have the step by step system, literally holding you by the hand, taking you to becoming a full stack JavaScript developer with the right mentorship. Do you think you would fail? The answer is probably not unless you don't put in the work. So if you're serious about becoming a full stack JavaScript developer and you want that mentorship, click the link below and check out the free training that we have for you where Nas teaches you how he made $300,000 as a full stack JavaScript developer in three years. Watch the training. If you get any value from that, you could go ahead and apply to our program full stack mastery. And if it's a good fit, we'll be reaching out to you to see how we can help you hit your goals of becoming a six figure software developer. So all this to say time is super important and mentors are the life hack to being able to buy yourself that time back. So in reality, mentors are the time machine. So guys, that is the advice that I would give myself three years ago when I was applying to jobs and I was able to get offers from Google, Microsoft, and Blue Origin and started my career as a software developer. And I hope that you found value from this advice. If you did find value, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, hit the like button, and allow us to share our message with the world. This will give the YouTube algorithm more juice to push this content out to more people and give more value to the world. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you could get these fire videos that we're dropping the second they drop. All right, guys, that is it for this one. Go out there, implement that advice, get in the right mindset and become the full stack developer you wish to become. This is Coach Daniel signing out. Peace.